Welcome to Coffee Break. My name is Michael Moret, reading today from James chapter 4, beginning in verse 12. There is one lawgiver who is able to save and to destroy. Who art thou that judgest another? Now, remember, God is the one who made the law. God is the lawgiver. God is the one who fully understands the law in all its minute details. God is also the one who understands all of us in all of our minute details. Therefore, It only makes sense that God is the only one who can accurately judge people, determine how culpable they are for the wrong that they have done, which is why none of us have the right to do that. Again, right is right, wrong is wrong, truth is objective, it's spelled out in Holy Scripture. We are able to judge whether an action or a word of ourselves or somebody else is sinful or righteous. We can do that, but we do not know another person's heart. And therefore, in addition to not knowing how culpable someone is for their actions, We certainly don't know if someone is saved or lost. That's God's business and his business alone. Now, I guess we can guess, but we better keep our opinions to ourselves because God is the one who determines. He's the one who knows if somebody is saved or unsaved. Verse 13, go to now. See, Ye that say, Today or tomorrow, we will go into such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain. Nothing wrong with making plans. The book of Proverbs is a very practical book of the Bible, and it talks about things like that. Nothing wrong with making plans. In fact, like I said, the book of Proverbs commends it. But this is talking about making plans without involving God. Plans should be made prayerfully and humbly and loosely, too, by the way, knowing that God may have other plans. So again, 13 and 14, go to now ye that say today or tomorrow, we will go into such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain, whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow. For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanisheth away. The only thing we know for sure about tomorrow, you ready for this? The only thing we know for sure about tomorrow is that we don't know anything for sure about tomorrow. I cannot say that I will be alive a minute from now, let alone tomorrow. We could all be gone in the next minute. And since that's the case, it's just an empty boast to say, well, I am going to do this or that tomorrow for sure. Yes, sir, that's what I'm going to do. What? You don't, even, you don't know anything about tomorrow or the next minute. Not really. 15. For that, you ought to say, if the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. Planning is good, but don't grip your plans too tightly because only God knows for sure what's going to happen. Make plans, but trust that God is in charge and that if he chooses to disrupt our plans, that's his business and he has a reason for doing it. Life is God's game. It's his ball, it's his bat, and his father owns the field so he can make up the rules. He just lets us play. Study all of the Bible with me verse by verse at thebibleversebyverse.com. Choose, click, and listen from four complete series going through the whole Bible. If you would like to be a part of Coffee Break and Scripture Verse by Verse, you can be by praying for me and God's Word. I'd appreciate that very much. Also, when you take a break from studying at thebibleversebyverse.com, go to the front page, click the Donate button, and perfectly give as the Lord may lead. That also will make you a part of this ministry. Until next time, so long.